Hey guys, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. In the last episode, we defeated Odie Bodhi back in Halloween Town, and then we had one of the hardest boss fights yet against Latias, but we handled him somewhat easily, and I almost died. And now Zetsion and Atsor have any man to man talk about Sora and thinking they're unbeatable and all that fun, happy stuff. Uh, just not. They're, yeah, they're still talking. You know, Malachi wants to use Sora to take down the organization, so they don't need the Riku clone anymore. On Riku's helm. Oh, it means Destiny Islands, I guess. I mean, he has to, obviously. And whoa, what the hell is that? Airs change. Um, yeah, probably late says. I mean, you just killed him in the last episode. Oh, hi, Zetsion. Are we gonna fight you next? Oh, no, it's Marletzia. Oh, wow, so Sora's already up in Castle of Living already. That was fast. Yeah, who else could it be? It's, it's Sora. No, it's Goofy. It's definitely Goofy. No, it's Sora. What do you mean, can you face him? Yeah, I mean, Riku's been trying to fight that off the entire time we've been here. So... Oh, I don't think Riku ever thought of that. No. Oh. Well, I would still think Riku wants to see Sora anyway, and of course Sora would still want to see Riku. I mean, that's the whole reason why he's here. Yep, and the Destiny Islands World Heart is up next. Yeah, after this, we only have um two more worlds to go. Basement 3 already. Yeah, definitely want to heal up too. Yeah. Let's see, level 35. Let's see. Okay, that's one of my stats real quick. Alright, let's get going. Hey, what are you planning on doing? Uh, I need to do some much, much, much needed training off screen since you guys saw how how late is almost handed my ass to me. So, some training's definitely needed. Um, I'm probably gonna go. Oh god, at least 45, probably. Oh no, yeah, I remember that back in Kingdom Hearts One. Yeah. Uh, Sora, Ky Sora, Kyrie, and Riku are all excited about leaving the island and exploring, exploring new worlds, and now here they are. And... Is that... What? Kool-Aid Man? Oh, yeah! No. <laughs> hey, it's Titus Selfie Walker again. And, yeah, they usually do chat up a storm in Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, guys, why aren't you saying anything? It's me, Riku. Wait, whoa, what the hell? Um. Well, that was disappointing. And, um, my phone's ringing. I don't care. Alright, first off, because I actually remember to check this time, let's check out our new deck. What have we got? 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, uh, uh, um... I do like that there's some zeros in our deck, but it's really not that great. Um, oh, we don't have any any uh, enemy cards this time around. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Let's see. Oh, we still have late CS. I don't think I showed them off last time. Obliterate enemies with a finishing blow of a combo. This makes random battles really, really easy because the last hit has a, actually a very high chance of wiping out every enemy that's on screen at the time, or at least all of them that are in front of you. So that's actually extremely helpful for training, so actually I'm going to take a little bit of time to show that off real quick. If I can. If I can hit this freaking red nocturne or whatever it is. Red something or other. Ernie, go, late CS. It lasts for 50 attacks. Okay, uh, it missed, but that's fine. No, it missed again. Must be having bad luck with it so far. Ah, jeez, missed the third time in a row. Okay, this isn't going well. Nah, jeez, you broke me, you bastard. Now, this deck here isn't all that bad. I mean, it has some decent number of cards, but... I don't like the erratic pattern that they're in. I mean, it goes by two each time, but still. 
Oh, there you go. That's what it was right there. See how the monster just instantly, instantly disappeared right there? That's Warp Break right there. And uh, yeah, you see, the enemies here give a crap ton of experience points. So if you're behind on levels like I am, definitely recommend you train around here for a little while. Um, also, let's take a look at the, uh, take a look at the map. Uh, oh, oh, actually isn't too big at all. I thought it'd be bigger than this. Um, let's see. Pretty much you have story room right here, and I'm assuming the uh, way out is probably this room right over here. So let's get going. I do want to do a little bit of grinding real quick, just because the boss fight dark side, I probably won't be able to kill him even if I like hauled ass over there. So we're gonna take our sweet time with this. So and throughout the while, um, let's see. Today's Thursday, so I'm streaming today. Yes, yes. Yeah, by the time this goes up, which actually probably be around 1 o'clock or so, this, this takes a little while to upload. I'm going to be streaming at like 2 o'clock this afternoon, since, yeah, this will already be like 1 o'clock by the time this is uploaded, so... Yeah, I'll be streaming at 2 o'clock today, so... I'll make a video for that too, just as always, with the channel linked in there. And, um, be playing some Earthbound today. Um, if you guys were there, um, I know a lot of people weren't there for my, for my impromptu late night stream the other night. I know uh, Tora and Hector, you guys were there, um, Ido and Spirit, you guys were there too. And I got, I, I got kind of sort of far in Earthbound. I got to the other first town, really. And, um, that's really about it. So, I'm just going to start the, start the game over again, so. Just so the people who weren't there before can actually see the rest of the game if you've never played it before, so. Can we try to please everybody? That's what, I, that's what I try to do, so. And, wow, I'm having bad luck with Warp Break. I'm not sure how the exact formula for it works. Maybe the higher level you're on, the uh, better chance it has of working. I'm not sure. I just abuse the hell out of it, so. Oh, I love me some warp break. It makes it makes training so much easier, or at least at least a more oh, definitely a lot help a lot more helpful. That's what I'm trying to say. There you go. And let's see. Up. Oh, hold on one second. I have a text message. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it's not text real quick. Um, I'm doing uh tomorrow. Um, up to Idlewild. I just I need to fill out some paperwork, and I need either I need two forms of ID from a list. That um, Idlewild gave me. Um, I can't have two things that are on the same list, so I need um, I need one thing from one list and one thing from another. And I have a school ID, so I can use that as one ID. And I need my uh, social security card or my um, birth certificate. So my mom's been trying to find those for me because I don't have them around here for whatever reason. I probably should, but oh well. And then yeah, we do want to do that tomorrow. So um. Not really sure when. It's probably gonna be during the afternoon. So what I'm gonna try to do is um uh what is it? Um I'll have Saddle Frontier 2 up first thing in the morning. And then I'll record Final Fantasy 4 before I leave. And then um Yeah, I'll have that for upload tomorrow night. And then uh, regarding the weekend, I'm not gonna be home. So I'll have to uh, do some pre-reporting as well. Because yeah, I won't I won't be home till Monday. And I won't have time really on Monday to record Lunar 2 or um, Final Fantasy 4, so I'll be doing that on uh, Friday as well. So this is a little heads up on what's uh, going on around there. And then I'll be making an update video later on once you actually start working at uh, what uh, at Idlewild. So don't worry about that. And let's see. And um, let's go with Darkness Boost. And okay, yeah, I've killed enough time already, so let's get going. I do want to at least get the dark side now. I. I spend enough time fighting monsters. But yeah, um I'm trying to think what else is there. Um let's see, well next Thursday that'll be my uh, uh, my first training thing that I'll have to do for the park. Um that's from four to eight PM. So um Chain of Memories will still be up in the er, will be up early in the morning just as always. And um uh what else? Um Let's see. Yeah, so yeah, that'll be up just as usual, and then I'll, re I'll pre-record the next episode before I leave for that. And then I'll upload it when I get home that night. And, um... Uh, what else? Um... Oh, it's Saturday, May 15th. I have another training thing to do. That's from 1.30 to 6 in the afternoon, so... Yeah, just a, just a little heads up there, and I need to stop fighting random battles. I actually want to, like, get to Dark Side before the end of the episode. So, yeah, that'd be, like, fantastic and stuff. I didn't find the freaking door. Where the hell is it? Okay, why am I not seeing the door? I am like... Either I'm blind or it's hiding somewhere. Because I am clearly not seeing it. Oh, here it is. Wow, this is... 
kind of tucked away. I'm trying to make a bunch of teaming darkness rooms so I can do all the training off screen. I'll just play out all the heartless just as usual. And uh, yeah, I'd like to be able to get to the story room before the end of the episode because I actually am almost out of time for today, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, seven, seven, seven. Okay, I'll just use a nine. I don't really care. Let's see. Hurry up, Riku. Oh, faster. There you go. Okay. And let's see. We are almost there, guys. So, okay. Next time, well, let's play Team March Chain of Memories. We will take down Dark Side. This has been Night on Movies on Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.